Well, I was going to start this project today, but I had to go to town. I had to go to take Jeff's deck to the dump. Got that all done. And I think we'll just start it in the morning, but this is Wally's yard. Uh, I had Wally nine years. He passed away May 5th. Uh, and I just, I've let this go. I haven't, I had not want to mess with it. But it's got to be done. i got to take this fence down. Those boards were all the way across the top. And I've been taking them off. I built a couple of tables out of them. You know, that's good old barn wood. And I pretty much let it set. But in the end, there's a great dog house I built him. That one of the other dogs could use. So I need to get this all weed eated. Start getting the fence down. Take the porches off of the dog houses or the dog house and uh, hopefully get some help because that is one heavy dog house. It is insulated all the way around. Wally just loved it. He'd get in there on the coldest days, I'd stick my arms in there and it'd just be toasty. His body heat would warm it all up. Then I got to get that ugly tree or bush or weed, whatever the hell it is, down. Uh, and then get that tin off the fence and the other dogs will have a better view but I'll get out here I may weed eat this today so it's good and dried up by tomorrow and I'll start pulling the fence off well, Wally was a climber but uh, they used to all be in the same yard but Wally and Waldo started fighting so he would go in here I'd come home from work, get him out. He had a little area in the, in the shady side of the property, and he'd stay out till dark. And this used to be Lulu's yard. I've already tore it down. See, I can't really mow too good in here because of this. And uh, Lulu died in October, so within six months, I lost two of my dogs. She was the same age as Wally which is Waldo, he's still, I still got him, he's healthy. Uh, and I need to weed eat around their graves. This is where Wally's buried. And let me tell you, digging in here in Arkansas is no fun. That's Wally's. And when I can afford it, I'll get him a nice headstone. I've got one for Lucy. Well, I've got to trim Lucy's up. I don't usually let them get this bad. There's Lucy, and that is my brother's dog, Puppy. And there's a dog buried there, there's a dog buried there, and then there's a puppy buried up further but, uh, from the rescue. Oh, Lulu's grave looks terrible. Need to get her a headstone, too. This is Lulu's grave. We'll get them cleaned up, make them look better. And then when I die, they can cremate me and spread my ashes over here. I don't care to be buried. Oh man, something stole something stole Lucy's toy. There it is back in the weeds. Look at what the heck happened there. This big bird. This was her favorite toy. Bugs getting me. It goes right here and something knocked it off. I don't know what. And I'll put pictures up of Lucy and Wally. Uh, they were good, good dogs. I sure loved them. Still miss them. It's Italian day, and we are cooking ravioli, and I don't make it the way everybody else makes it. And over here, we got the water boiling for that, sauteing me up some green pepper, some onions, some tomato, some mushrooms. The store's been out of sliced mushrooms, so I've been having to buy these button mushrooms and cut them. Uh, Alright, they're ready for the next step. We'll dump them in my holy bowl. I call it anyway, my holy bowl. Give them a shake. 
Then we're going to drop them into Ooh, not water, man. Turn your burner off, Mike. All right, lands, quit steaming up. Little bit of oregano. Little bit of basil. That's what all that Italian stuff. Little bit of garlic powder. Little bit of pepper. We want to sear these up real good. Get them a little bit little firm. Ah, one fell on the floor. You know what? I'm going to pick that dude up and wash it and put him back in there. I don't care. All right, Mike, keep the lens away from the uh, little. Now, let me get this seared up, and then we'll come back when we go to finish it. All right, we, all right, we got them firmed up pretty good. Now, I'm going to add some of the sautéed tomatoes, bell pepper. I made too much. That's about enough for right there. Easy to do with one hand. <laughs> oh, I feel for one armed people. How the hell do they cook? Right. Turn this heat way off. Well, we'll just turn it off. And then we'll put the last step. And there we have it. Melted a little triple cheddar cheese on top. Man, we're ready to dig in. That's a lot of ravioli. It's a good thing I only eat one meal a day. Mm, you want that? I know you do, but you know what? You can't have any. It's all mine. I'm going to swig it. Wash it down with some ice cold milk. Swig it right out of the daggum jug.